blessing. Peace and blessings. Mark the messenger. Go back into the video, guys. This one's going to be a very informative video. A lot of people are still unaware that um, this time of the year, I call it pagan season. It's pagan holidays, Christmas and, um, and Halloween. And during this time of the year is when uh, division takes place, okay? Um, you have family members who go to church who profess to be Christians, still still that want to partake in, you know, certain things that God, you know, says not to do. Uh, yes, it actually is in Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 4, where God says not to do things of the pagan customs, as in putting up a Christmas tree. Uh, Halloween, we already know, you know, um, I'm going to be talking about a story of that pretty soon. But, um, you know, that's what really separates, guys, the people who are really walking in the truth, people who are really walking, who are really set apart, you know, the people who are willing to be 100% obedient to God's word. Um, something simple as not celebrating a pagan holiday. And I have a lot of children who watch my channel, and you might be asking, well, Ma uh, Mark, um, uh, my parents um, my parents celebrate Christmas, and, you know, they're still, like, 18 and in high school. You know, what, could, what, what do I do? You know, there's nothing wrong with having dinner. Um, you still want to, you know, honor your family, honor your mother and father. You, so you don't want to like, um, you could tell, you could tell them the truth, but just be prepared for them not to be able to accept it. It's just the time we're going into. And, uh, you know, even Jesus Christ, when he comes back, he's coming back to bring division. He's not coming back to bring priests. So uh, the more we get closer to the end, the more families are going to be divided. Okay. Uh, he's coming back to separate or to divide the sheep and the goats to divide the wheats and the tares. Okay. So um, especially with Halloween, uh, I mean, that should be kind of obvious and it's really bizarre because a lot of Christian churches, you know, they participate in Halloween and their intentions, a lot of them, at least a church that I used to go to, their intentions was, Oh, um, even though it's a bad holiday, like we want to use it for good and stuff like that. And people so dressed up, they still pass out candy and that's all paganism. That's all of the world. Okay. And guys, I can't make this up. This is the last year. This is like, this is like a couple months before God called me out of darkness. I went to a Halloween party. I will never forget this, guys. I'll never forget this time. Um, man, I had no idea, guys, of the spiritual realm. Uh, best believe it, guys. You know, when Halloween hits, you know, um, there's demonic spirits. There's demonic demons roaming the earth. Okay, I'm telling you all, man. And they're jumping into, into these vessels, okay, these weak vessels. People are opening themselves up by doing drugs. Uh, you all know what happens when you party, doing drugs, getting drunk, uh, stuff like that, you know. Um, and uh, I remember I was... I was go me it was me and my two friends and we're walking we couldn't find parking so we had to park far away and it was on Halloween day and um to get into this party you had to get a, you have to have a costume on and I wasn't really big on costumes back then it's like I kind of I didn't know the truth back then but like it was just kind of corny to me but so I just had a, I just had a mask on so just like used to get in I just had a mask and as I'm walking into this party guys I can't make this up we we had to park far because there was no parking so it was like a 10 minute walk to the spot. And no joke, guys, no joke. Like, I'll never forget this. There was this girl, like half naked. She was like our age. She was like in her early 20s. I think she was like 21 or 22, 20, something like that. And she was just half naked and um, she's, and uh, she's half naked. And I couldn't believe, like, I was like, I was like, maybe I'm, cause maybe, cause I was kind of, I was, you know, lit at the time. So I was like, maybe I'm tripping or something. So I just kept, me and my friends kept walking. And then like, we're like, Mark, you know, what the heck is that? And then she's walking closer to us. And she's, like I said, the guy's fully naked, like fully naked. And she's not ugly. She doesn't look like she's on drugs or nothing like that. And out of all, you know, two of my friends next to me, she comes by, she touches me. And you guys know that movie called Fallen. You guys haven't seen the movie called Fallen. I think it came out in 1999 or 98. And it's pretty much a movie with Denzel Washington's the main character. And it was pretty much a movie talking about how demons, when they uh, jump into people, they got to touch, you know, they got to touch you. And now um, the Bible says, touch not my anointed. And also it says that, you know, when you have the Holy Spirit, these demons fear you. There's nothing that these demons could do. And back then I didn't, I wasn't walking in the spirit. Back then I was opening doors, you know, opening doors for demonic attacks, opening doors for demonic possession. Okay. Uh, I was not, guys, I was living back then. I was in darkness. Okay. hundred percent. Um, you know, we all have a past. We all, have, you know, we all have a past. So, um, so I, she touches me, right? And I look back. I'm like, wait, what the heck was that? Like, she's fully naked, like in the middle of the street in downtown. You know, like with I live in this city with millions of people in it. Like, like what the heck? So I'm like, whoa. What? So I didn't, we just kept on walking. I was just so shocked. And 
you know, I wanted to tell her, like, you know, is everything okay? Like, do you want me to get you a ride or something like that? But at the same time, like, I don't know. Like, I'm more of a type of dude, like, to mind my business because uh, that was just crazy, man. Uh, you have, like, a, a naked, what if there's children walking by? You know, you don't want to see that. It's just demonic. So check this out, guys. So we go into the party. And like I said, guys, I'm... I'm opening doors, man. I'm opening a lot of doors. On top of that, I have a ma you know, a mask on. <laughs> Demonic, bro. I don't forget what the mask was, but um, I'm dancing with this girl, and I, I could tell you guys, I'll, I think this is the only time I remember my life that I felt like I got body snatched. I felt like I got body hacked. And what does it mean? It's a spiritual word that we use. It means that a demon jumped, you know, jumped inside us, you know, jumped inside uh, me, you know, and I was dancing with this girl, guys, and I completely, lo I remember, like, I remember spiritually, even back then, guys, I wasn't spiritual, I didn't know any of that, I didn't know any of that, guys, but I just felt like something left, like, or something, I, I just lost, lost myself, I lost myself for, like, five, ten minutes, and I just remember, like, what the heck was that, like, I'm telling you guys, y'all, all y'all all youth that watch my channel, you don't want to partake in Halloween, man. The Bible says uh, we should not give into any evil appearance, okay? Um, and I know some people might say, oh, Mark, you're just, you know, being too religious. Like, nah, I'm letting y'all know, bro. Like, it's spiritual. If you don't believe in the spiritual realm, uh, this channel is not for you, okay? If, you, if This is a spiritual channel, always has been. If you don't believe in spiritual warfare, if you, could, if you believe that you can live however you want and there's no such thing as demonic spirits or demonic uh, attacks that come your way you don't believe in that type of stuff because you have a carnal mind this channel is not for you so i just want to let you guys know i'm going to be making a video too uh, it's going to be a long video because i'm going to be using scriptures it's going to be talking about god's holidays and Satan's holidays because a lot of people are unaware that they're t they're partaking in pagan you know uh, holidays that are not of god anything that this world promotes anything this world you know halloween easter um Christmas, you know, uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day. I mean, all these holidays, right? It's all, it all goes, or Valentine's Day. It all links to paganism, okay? Like I said, the guys, this this really shows who's really walking in truth, who's really just, or who's just being religious, you know, uh, making excuses, or who's really 100% in all the way in, okay? 100%, okay? Uh, who's fired up? Because it's really gonna show who, you know, when we go into these days, and I know, I understand a lot of people have itching ears. A lot of people have been lied to, just like I was once, we were all once lied to that, you know, uh, Christmas is Jesus' birthday, which is nowhere in the Bible. Um, uh, Thanksgiving, that's another pagan, I forgot about, how oh, I forget about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, another pagan holiday. We should all already know what really took place in Thanksgiving, the bloodshed of thousands, if not millions of people, and we all celebrate and eat together. You know, uh, none of this is all in the Bible. And like I said, I was saying earlier how God has his own holy days, you know, uh, the day of atonement just passed. You know, that was a day of um, I made a video about on that on my uh, on my second channel uh, two weeks ago. If you guys want to check that out. It's Mark the Messenger Live. I'll leave a link in the description. And I was pretty much uh, what that holiday really represents is a day of fasting, a day of repenting, um, a day of dry fasting, just, you know, fasting for our sins. And that's probably that and the Sabbath day is probably my favorite holy day because the Sabbath day keeps keeps our mind centered on Christ. It keeps our mind centered on God. At least when I keep it. I can't speak for everyone else. Uh, but the day of atonement too, it's like, let's say, you know, you backslide or, you, you know, you're battling the flesh. It's like, a, it can't, It comes at the perfect time. It's like God knows, like, when to put these days up. And, you know, we all need it. We all need guys uh, to to do some days of fast and do some days of, you know, get into heavy prayer. Uh, to, you know, just, uh, you know, to talk to God, you know, do some days. Because think all this stuff, all this technology and... You know, all these uh, people who are um, not walking in truth, who we communicate with a lot, you know, kind of can separate us. And, you know, so that's why it's important, you know, to do a day of um, fasting. And guys, the, the ultimate power, there's two ultimate powers you could do when it comes to fighting against spiritual warfare, to fight against these demonic attacks. And, you know, how can I protect myself out here? Number one is, re you know, repenting. That's power, okay? I know a lot of people don't like to hear that word, but... There's true power in repentance, okay? Repenting from your sins, turning away. The Bible says that he who covers his sins shall not prosper, but whoever confess and forsakes them shall obtain mercy. So there's a lot of power in repenting, okay? We all fall short. We all, you know, sometimes let the flesh get the best of us. I'm on a channel that tells people that we're going to be without sin, so let's put that out there, okay? Uh, and then also uh, is obedience, okay? Uh, and demons, they fear you because the Bible says in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, that uh, you will have power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. So what does that mean? Now let's just know that when you when you fear God, you have angels around you. Like we can't see with the in the physical realm, but you're protected. So you should never 
be afraid of these demons. You should never be afraid of the devil and stuff like that. They actually are afraid of you. You know, all the fire and brimstone, you, you know, I can't speak for everyone else, but for the warriors of God, all the fire and brimstone were rain upon Satan's kingdom. Um, you know, it's doing some damage. You know, that's why Satan has to attack us. He has to use people to try to hurt us and betray us. But even then, we stand firm. We stand bold. And uh, like I said, guys, back then, I wasn't in the truth. That's why I got, you know, I, I honestly felt, guys, that's the only time in my life where I could remember a demon jumping in, you know? Like, I didn't have the Holy Spirit back then, you know? And uh, God was calling me during that stage. It was like it was like two months or maybe like, like a month and a half afterwards when I, you know, picked up the call. Uh, it's been that was like almost four years ago. So yes, I have a past. I'm letting you guys know. Um, there was a lot of demonic stuff I saw, guys, in Halloween. A lot of demonic stuff. You have people dressing up as Satan himself. <laughs> you have people dressing up like witches. Um, I mean, it's it's just demonic, man. It's demonic. You have a certain holidays too, uh, called the Day of the Dead, where they celebrate, you know, it's ne necromancy. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. So, you guys, you gotta start praying against this type of stuff because these witches, these pagans. They're lighting up sage, they're playing with the crystals, uh, they're playing with their horoscopes, or you know, activating their tarot cards, and uh, they're, they're foreseeing the future, which is an abomination to God. And uh, they're, you know, they're, they're casting spells, okay? They're casting spells on, you know, God's chosen. Uh, they're attempting to, because none of the spells they can cast on us is gonna work. But even then, they're, you know, they're fighting, they're fighting their spiritual uh, warfare, but they're, working, they're fighting for the devil, okay? They're, they're working for the devil. Us chosen ones, us anointed ones, us God-fearing people, we're fighting for God, so we got to fight back too. God tells us over and over again throughout the scriptures in the Old and New Testament, okay, as in Isaiah chapter 59, a lot of people don't understand or a lot of people don't know that uh, the form of God is actually listening to the Old Testament too in Isaiah chapter 59, verse 15 to like 25, somewhere in that verse, but uh, they have the full armor of God. That's what protects us, man. Um, and see, when you have the armor on, right, you're going to get attacked. You could get demonic attack. Anyone who says they can't get demonic attack, they're fools, okay? Uh, when you're exposing certain things, when you're bringing certain things to the light, you're going to get attacked. Just the thing about these celebrities, right? When these celebrities, um, like, you know, because celebrities can't, their life is not their own. Just like how the Bible says our life is not our own, our life belongs to God. Their life belongs to the devil, okay? They can't, you can't be of Satan's kingdom and, and you're, getting, you're, you're drinking the cup of the, the, the devil's. And then try to expose, you know, what's really going on in, like, say, Holly Weird or, you know, in darkness, you know, what's really taking place. You can't. Satan's going to destroy you, okay? Uh, you all saw the rapper PBM Rock who passed away. He, he was trying to live a normal life, going to Roscoe's, you know, stuff like that. They can't even do that. They can't live a normal life because look what happens, okay? Uh, you had certain rappers like XX Nation who tried to go to, the, uh, to get a new uh, motorbike. Just, you know, basic things. He couldn't even do that. He got, you know, took out. So... Um, their life is not their own. People who are in Satan's kingdom, they can't expose Satan. And if they do, Satan's going to, you know, turn up on them. Even the Bible says in the, in the Apocrypha that when the ungodly curse Satan, they curse, they put a curse in their life. Okay, so, um, but even though you being a child of God and you're doing what God has called you to do, remember, many are called for your chosen. Now, that also means someone, someone are, were chosen to do certain things, right? Jesus was chosen to do what he did, okay? Uh, Joseph was chosen to, to, uh, to do what he did. Uh, David was chosen, you know, they all had different callings, you know? Samson was a um, protector of Israel, okay? He was chosen to do that. So we all have different callings. Uh, we all have different, different things that we're chosen to do, and we must stay on the path. And, you know, I know, guys, as us set apart people, us holy, our true holy people, right? It's like pain in this pagan season when everyone's celebrating it. You're at work and your coworkers are, you know, telling you, looking at you weird or crazy. You're looking down on you because you don't participate in certain things no more. It's tough, man. And uh, you know they look at you crazy and stuff like that because you understand that this is all, you know, uh, darkness. We're not supposed to be partaking in. Then you have some Christians who condemn you and talk down on you too as well. Uh, who are just religious and not really walking in church. So just stay strong out here, guys. Uh, that video is coming up pretty soon. God's holidays and Saints holidays. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you made it this far, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.